Yeah. And Darren you, Brown joins us now. It's a lovely um, sunny afternoon trick, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? What it's, do you a do? it's a bit oh. macabre, isn't it? I mean, I don't, if I was that poor guy, I'd have freaked out after that. He did a little bit. He had a stiff drink afterwards. Um, but yeah, the, I think I think there's some of them are a bit macabre. I think it's quite nice. I like to give it a bit of a. Is that, a pure, is it, is that a pure trick, or is there is there any psychology, any? It's predictability, any predictions of what someone will find it? I, I think the show is generally a mixture of both. I mean, it depends. Uh, some individual pieces are more... It's a mixture of genuine psychological techniques and a whole load of um, ways of thinking of, uh, of a magician as well, mm. and the showmanship and so on and all of that, and creating an illusion, you know, and it's, it's all of that put together. Um, and some are more real than others, really. I love it when you take on experts in their field. Like this next clip from, from the series, it's, uh, it's a psychologist. You've, oh, got, yeah. you've gone into his clinic, and you're meeting him on his own ground, mm. and you still get the better of him. And I, 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 God knows how you do it. And I know everybody says that to you. How did you do it? But God knows how you did this. Let's, let's have a look. Did you hypnotise him? It's very good, isn't did it? Did you hypnotise him so that you said a key word and he... No, 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 no. There's no, um, there's no overt hypnosis in the show as, uh, at all. I, I sort of use hypnotic techniques sometimes. Mm. Um, Covertly, but uh, I kind of made that decision not to not to include hypnosis. In yeah, you must. I mean, obviously you must work with the team, but uh, mm. like any other production. But do you come up with most of these yourself? I, I would have thought it's absolutely. You must have a very kind of fertile and agile brain because I mean, you know, you, you come up with so many different scenarios, and you have to be happy with them, obviously, or else it wouldn't work. Sure. So I probably bring about eighty percent of the ideas to the discussion, and then it's just me and a couple of mates who just sit and laugh and be stupid for a few months and come up with come up with mm. the show and try and rehearse these ideas as much as as much as we can but i probably uh, yeah because it has i have to feel that it's me it has to be something uncomfortable doing sometimes it comes from an idea that i've got and i know oh, i you know i can a, a principle that i find out that i can do and mm. and part of the, the discussion you know through that we come up with some great way of doing it or sometimes it's comes from wouldn't it be great if you know, you could go yeah. to X and do Y, and it comes from that. It's loads of fun. And how did it all start for you? I know you've told us this before, but actually I've forgotten. How, how, when did you realise that you, you could do this thing? <clears throat> I started off as a hypnotist uh, at university, mm. and I just fell in love with it, just decided yeah. that's, that's what I would do. And, um, but if you're going to be a stage hypnotist, it can get a bit tacky, and I didn't really want to be a hypnotherapist because, frankly, I found it a bit boring listening <laughs> to people's problems every day. Um, so I ended up... Uh, doing these these hypnosis shows where I could explain about how it worked and so on, but at the same time getting into close-up magic, mm. which I then loved and did for years and years. But mm. it was always the psychology of it that interested me more, and just tried to bring in the the, the suggestion techniques from the hypnosis and a whole lot of other weird things I was getting into. Well, into what I think what you do is uh, what, just watching you. You're very still and you're very focused, um, and I think the uh, you, you share that with Paul McKenna because I've noticed him when he's talking to you. I mean, you, you, you know, he really does make total eye contact and, and no real extraneous movements and i noticed that when when you're with people mm. on screen mm. you're very very focused it's still it, yeah a lot of it is about um is about that is about focus and really engaging Central. people so that every little move or every little thing that you do do every apparent little slip or whatever does does have the effect you want to do yeah. well, i'd like to spring something on you now you know this is live obviously right yes and last a couple of times ago you're on um you did the, the pound coin trick where you i don't know how you did it but every single time judy and i did that held our hands up you said it's in the left hand and it falls mm. in the left or the right and we just couldn't fi fix you and i thought afterwards maybe he did hypnotize us a bit so cold we haven't spoken to you before the show we've been doing that okay just once happy just once just once Okay, can I, put, can I put some... Have you done it already? Yeah. Can, I, can I put some money on it? Yeah, you want it? I always think it makes it more fun. All I don't right. know what I've got. You can have whatever I've got in my pocket, which is 50 quid, which is what I bet. Okay. I do this every night on stage. All right, All 50 right. quid. All okay. right. Which hands are they? Okay, hang on. Don't, don't start looking at hands. And now keep your eyes open, so I can't do it. All right, I will ask you, is it in this hand? Is it in this hand? I want okay. you to say yes both times. Can you okay. do that? Yeah. All right, so just say yes both. So in other words, one should be lying and one should be telling the truth. I so see, try I not to give away which is which. Just say okay. yes both times. Is it in this hand? Yes. Is it in this hand? Yes. Oh, you're really good at this then. Um, this is more difficult than last time. But I'm, in a way, being ready for it helps because I kind of, if I know what's coming, I can uh, do little things to try. I, either I don't know, or you haven't got it in either, you haven't got it in either hand, have you? <laughs> you? Right, don't do that to me. Oh, you 50 quid. You meanie. <laughs> no, he plays tricks on. No, Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. <laughs> How the hell did you read that? God. All right. Listen, um, Brilliant. Let's, well done. Well let's, done. In the brief amount of time we've got left, let's talk a bit about your next project, which is the seance. What are you hoping to learn from it? What are you hoping I will learn from it? Um, what a meanie he is. 
Uh, no, 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 I should thank you both so I've been on here a few times now. You're absolutely delightful. Thanks ever so much. You're very supportive and uh, I love that. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Um, from this from the seance. Mm -hmm. Um I'm very skeptical about the claims of spiritualism. Right. Um, but I love all those sort of old techniques the Victorian mediums used to used to get up to. I, I love all that. I find it really interesting. And I guess I wanted to see to what extent those those sorts of techniques that they use would work in in modern times, because we're all, you know, we're all apparently very, you know, we're all sort of, a, we don't believe in ghosts, and uh, we're cynical of religion, all the things that we're supposed to be, but I, you know, I just kind of think we're just as prone to those things as we ever have been. So, the idea is to see to what extent they can work with a modern sceptical right. audience. Well, I can't wait to see it. Um, how long before we, we see it on television? It'll be at the end of May, May the 31st, right yep. after the series finishes. It's, it's interactive. The idea is to involve people at home in it as well. Right. Um, and just, just, just very briefly, you're on in the West End in June, aren't you? Yes, June the 7th at the Palace Theatre, the okay. West End run. Bye-bye. Come and see. Bye.